So we're out here at Rife Lake today, um, doing a little fishing. We're catching fish, but boy, we've caught a lot of little dinky landlocked silvers. A couple of decent fish, but we got a spread deployed, as you can see. Um, you see us use a lot of different gear on the channel. I mean, if you look right there, there's two, two different reels. There's a cold water, low profile. Pete's a big fan of Okuma. That's an Okuma uh, Saimar is the one that we wanted to talk about. Right there is an Okuma Convector line counter. So that's a 163D. Actually, that one's a DLX because it's on the left side. Pete likes his reels goofy. There's a closer look at that particular reel. Um, a lot of nice features to this reel. Um, one of them is the price. The reel itself is probably somewhere in the neighborhood. I think we paid 69, 79 bucks for them, something like that. Um, we, I have, I don't know, four or five of the Daiwa Lexas, which is a similar, similar comparable reel. Um, it's, the Daiwa Lexas got more ball bearings, uh, more expensive reel, but they're very similar in performance. Uh, the reel itself weighs 7.9 ounces as it sits here without the line on it, obviously. It's got a, a fog-proof line counter on the top. One of the things that this one has that the Lexa does not is, now bass fishermen will call this a, a flip and switch, but essentially you turn this on and off, and when you depress the when you depress the thumb bar, when you release it, it locks back shut. So Pete uses that for uh, letting out his downrigger. I don't tend to use that. Bass fishermen use it a lot for flipping and pitching. But that is a feature that this reel has that a lot of the other ones don't. Uh, two roller bearings and one ball bearing. If there's a weakness to this reel, that's probably, or no, I'm sorry, one roller bearing and two ball bearings. If there's a weakness, that's probably it. It doesn't have a great number of bearings. But it seems to be a pretty smooth reel. Um, we fished them a lot. Pete fishes them quite a bit. I tend to fish the Lexus a little more. Uh, gear ratio is 6.2 to 1 on this size, so they're pretty fast for letting out and coming in. All in all, it's just a good solid reel for uh, trolling for trout or kokanee. Obviously, you've got it's a 100 size, so you don't have a tremendous amount of uh, spool there that you can put line on, but we run braid on a lot of stuff anyway, so you don't need. Uh, the braid is much thinner and you can get a lot more of it on there, but that's that's about the right size reel for most of the kokanee and stuff that we Troll for kokanee and trout Obviously the cold water there is the next size up That's a 300 size and you can see the spool is much larger on the cold water reels heavier. It's got more drag It's got a big power handle versus this type of handle, which I prefer this actually um so this has, a, they, it's five kilograms of drag, which is 12, 12 and a half pounds of drag on this one. And the cold water is quite a bit more. I think it's 24. So pretty good reels. Uh, if you're in the market for a reel, they're worth a try. The Okuma Convector low profile line counter.